Thanks for uh, coming to hear about this incredible resort, Heart Song Lodge and Resort. Um, Dolly's going to come up in just a second, and then in a little bit, uh, she's going to bring Eugene Naughton, the president of the Dollywood Company, up as well. They'll talk about this project and several other projects that we have that are going on this year, including an opportunity for Dollywood to again become Hollywood. So when the presentation's over, <laughs> I just stole the joke from you. <laughs> so when that when the presentation's over, Eugene and I will both be available for interviews. Uh, PR team, grab your PR representative, and they'll and they'll grab us, and we'll do some interviews. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Dolly Parton. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, Beach. Yeah, we're good. Well, good morning. I know you don't like sitting out in that hot sun anymore than we like being out in it, but thank you and welcome to our new Heart Song Lodge. We're in what the, I think it's what the uh, lounge area is, and it's going to be nice when it's finished, I'm sure. But anyhow, we're all excited about it, and I wanted to uh, be here today, so we wanted to tell you a little bit. Uh, update on really the project and tell you the story behind the, the lodge. It's really just about the Smoky Mountains. Heart Song is really about the Smokies and how I love the Smokies, how the Smokies always kind of bring me home actually and kind of restore me and kind of recharge my batteries when I come home. And this is more of a, a lounge type uh, uh, hotel different than the dream world which we know is beautiful i don't know if any of you have stayed there or not but it's really something that we're very proud of and of course the beauty of these mountains every hour and every season is always amazing so we're just so proud to finally have our new lodge we're going to be building some more later on but this one is our second one and we're very excited about it and of course uh, i've um, lived in these mountains for all these years and and like I said, I can't wait to see this all finished. A little later, I'll bring Eugene up to give you more of the details. But today is a special day in many ways because the mountains have always meant the world to me. I always look at the mountains like God's coloring book. And when I was little, I even wrote a song called that. But it's really about just seeing all the beautiful colors. And when I was a little kid growing up here, I used to be out in the fields and the woods. And I'd chase butterflies all around, get lost thinking I could catch them and be wind up somewhere on top of a hill thinking, where am I? Mama hollering at me. But anyhow, the mountains mean a great deal to me and the people in the mountains and my family as well. And today, actually we're not only uh, introducing the lodge to you, but my Uncle Bill, a lot of you may and may not know, uh, he was uh, the one that kind of was my mentor when I was little. He's the one that took me around to sing on the Cas Walker show and the radio shows, anything that we could do. Uncle Bill was there. He'd take me back and forth to Nashville in the early days, and he was always there for me. But Bill lived here in the mountains. He loved it here, and he uh, actually got very involved in the chestnut trees when the, when the blight killed all the chestnut trees. Well, he wanted to be one of the people responsible for helping bring the great chestnut tree back. And he and his wife, Sandy, worked for years and years planting little trees all over the property here at Dollywood and actually on some of their own property, I think. But anyhow, today, actually, we're gonna honor my Uncle Bill, too, because there's a chestnut tree, I guess this little thing here. And I think these have been where they're, you know, these little trees to where they can't get the blight. They're, they're gonna be blight free. And they're planting trees again around all over uh, good healthy chestnut trees, which I think is a wonderful thing and we're going to actually be planting this a little bit later on But we do have people uh, from the chestnut tree association or foundation and uh, we want to bring uh, Bring you up. Is it always just you? Just you and me? Yes. All right. I thought there was going to be a drove of you <laughs> Hi Dolly, I'm Lisa. Hi, Hi Lisa. Nice so to nice see to you. Meet you. Thank you And I'm so happy to know that you're honoring my Uncle Bill. You know, he well, made the world it, to me. It's a thrill uh, yeah. to be able to so, honor him today. Yeah. And, well, you go ahead and talk. Well, I'll, I'll never sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. We are thrilled to present um, the American Chestnut Foundation, of which I am the president and CEO. We've been working for 40 years to try to help bring this, this chestnut back through science and, and breeding 
and it's just a hopeful mission um, to bring something back that was decimated by a blight, as, as Dolly said. And Uncle Bill was very special to the Chestnut Foundation because he was an evangelist for the chestnut. He really wanted to bring it back. He worked very hard to plant a lot of trees right here at Dollywood, yes, did he, he not? Did. Yeah, he planted a lot of trees. And also, we wrote song together about the uh, chestnut trees. I remember. Bill was so involved in it. He was, he was really just, uh, it was just his mission. He just felt led to do it. And he worked so hard, and I'm so I'm sorry he can't be here today. We lost Uncle Bill two years ago, but uh, he'll always live in the Chestnut Tree and in our hearts for sure. Of course. Well, thank you. And today we are going to present Dolly and her family the highest accolade from the American Chestnut Foundation, which is the Chestnut Champion Award. And um, and we also have, as she said, a little little seedling here that represents the future and. I think Carol named it Chester the Chestnut. So. Oh, that's a good name. <laughs> Chester the Chestnut. <laughs> so we'd like to just say thank you to Dolly and Uncle Bill and all the work that he did. He, he was really a great advocate for our mission. It's a long-term mission because, A, it's a tree. They kind of grow slow. But, and science takes a long time. But we are going to make that tree come back to the Appalachians. It was very important to the Appalachian people for the wood, for the nuts. Uh, for the wildlife, for their livestock. So um, it's a really iconic, important tree ecologically and um, e um, economically. So with no further ado, want to do the unveiling with well, me? I guess so. Come over here. Though. All right, we, got, we just yeah. don't want to knock it over, right? No, we sure don't. That would just be like something I do. Oh, me too. Okay. All right. Oh, that's great. Oh. So now this, we will get this to Sandy, uh, Bill's wife, who was so dedicated to Uncle Bill and so dedicated to the cause. I think she probably planted more trees than Uncle Bill did. Because <laughs> he was a musician, you know. They just claimed to work hard. Uh, but uh, seriously, Sandy was very devoted, so I can't wait to, to show that well, to them. Actually, wherever we may put it in the museum, we'll see what it says. We'll, we'll put it in the right place. Well, thank you. And real quick, um, our wonderful woodworker did this in less than a week oh. to pull this together. And these ebony, are, ebony pins are bridge pins for a guitar. Oh, because he makes guitars too, and this is a guitar string that hangs it up in the back. Well, that's so fitting for Uncle Bill. Isn't it? And a then, guitar player, yeah, he so. played the the big old Gretsch electric guitar, and he played on my first records, Puppy Love, and so he's one took me all around. So he was a serious musician. So that's very appropriate that you so. have those things. I see that butterfly. Yeah, you now, you can't butterfly? see all this back here. <laughs> we'll take, take pictures, and this is of course wormy chestnut. This is the chestnut wood that was so important to the, the mountains around here that you love so much. So oh, thank you for wonderful. the opportunity. Well, thank you for coming and thank you for, for doing it. Yeah, you put that on the ground. Okay, all right. <laughs> put it on the ground. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. How about a nice hand for the chestnut affiliation? Oh, we do need photos, yeah. Okay. Well, we don't want this big old rag in the floor, do we? <laughs> <laughs> think you got us? All right. Thank okay. You. Thank you. We appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. We just felt the urge to hug. There. We did. We. <laughs> <laughs> I felt. I do a hug. Yeah, okay. Okay. Good to see you. Likewise. Well, anyway, that's very touching, and I'll get that later. I just. I didn't, didn't want it in our picture. <laughs> anyway, this is nice. We appreciate that. Well, without further ado. I want to bring Eugene up. He's the head of our, he's the president of Dollywood, uh, Eugene Norton, as Pete mentioned before. And uh, we've become quite the little duo, but I'm going to try to shut up and let you talk a little bit. And I'll back up here. Yeah. If you need well, me, don't you holler. Okay. okay, all right. You know, it's uh, every day when I wake up, I almost have to pinch myself to figure out that this has really happened to me and that I'm on stage standing next to someone like yourself. And it's such an honor. Uh, to be here representing you to all of the thousands of hosts that work at the Smoky Mountain Country to deliver the day with excellence. And to the millions of guests that visit us, I can tell you I'm out in the park a lot and any one that I meet, first thing I ask, do you really work with Dolly? Uh -huh. <laughs> And well, it is it, Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's such it's such a an excitement for me to be able to share the stories. And even though I've only worked here since 2019, I think we've made remarkable progress. Yes, you've and, done a great job. Thank you. Truly, he's doing such 
wonderful work to just making sure things like this happen. So we really appreciate you as well. Thank you for the compliments. This uh, is exciting for us to think about. We're getting very close to the next stage of development. Heartsong and Lodge has reached a milestone in our construction project. And just like Dolly said, it's a really different feeling resort than our first resort, Dream More, that opened in 2015. Think about this as a place to honor Dolly's feelings for the Smoky Mountains. And you're gonna see a really nice blend of the exterior blended into the interior. And I think one of the coolest parts about it is if you look behind us and you see this four-story atrium that's being built, it will be a stunning view, you know, through a pool that's 50% larger than the one that we built at Dreammore, but the, the beautiful vista that you'll have. Another really cool feature that we're adding this year is balconies. Because you know everyone comes just yeah. like Dolly comes to the Smoky Mountains to be able to enjoy the outside environment and we're going to be giving our families a chance to do that that are visiting here so half of the suites at our resort will have outdoor balconies to be able to enjoy some of the some of the fun and another big difference between this and dream more is our convention space we're building a 26,000 square foot convention space and I was excited to do that because I don't know if you know how big Dolly's family is but it's impossible to find a space <laughs> that's big enough to host to have all the ones I want to go <laughs> so she and I were giggling that's going to be that's going to be a lot of fun to be able to invite her entire family out to parts on when it opens up it'll be a really comfortable space so bigger groups are going to be available I can to have us, my real awesome. family reunion mm -hmm. right here at the yeah. So when Heart Song opens, we'll have over 600 rooms available for uh, our guests to stay, which is which is awesome. Almost 180,000 room nights annually a year between our two hotels. So it it becomes a real powerhouse, and it gives us the ability to reach out for our goal of becoming the best family destination in the United States. And that's what we think about every day when we're working hard, you know, here for Dolly is to think about when someone thinks about taking a family vacation. We want them to think about Tennessee and we want them to think about Dollywood Parks and Resorts. So I, I can't can't thank you enough for giving me an opportunity to be able to fulfill your dreams. Well, you're welcome. Thank you for working <laughs> hard at <laughs> All right, so, so. I think there might be a question or two. Oh, I think somebody did have some questions. I bet they're wondering why we don't hurry up so they don't have to sit and face the sun. <laughs> they're very glistening okay. right now. <laughs> What was your inspiration behind the Heart Song Lodge and Resort? Well, actually, we wanted, we thought that the Dream Mall was really pretty high class. You know, it's really nice and sweet and, you know, really kind of that southern, up class southern hospitality. But we wanted something that really was more rustic, that really had the, you know, the wood and the colors and all that to it, more like a lodge, like a mountain lodge. So that was really what inspired us to kind of think we needed to something a little more you know like the smokies with with all the things that we could do with all the colors and all that i gotta wonder you broke ground on dollywood in the mid 80s here we are in 2022 does the little girl inside of you ever go wow look at what we built <laughs> that little girl inside of me goes wow every single day that i've been able to see so many of my dreams come true but nobody dreams alone it's like it's one thing to dream and as i've always said you when you dream you have to put wings legs feet hands everything on them and that means you've also got to find the right people to help you make those dreams come true so i have been so fortunate in my life to to have been blessed with great people all through my lifetime to help me see the dreams come true. Dollywood continues to grow, gets more and more popular every year. What do you think, what's that secret ingredient that can just continues to draw people to the area, to Dollywood specifically? Well, basically what we just said, the hospitality and the things that he talked about, the people that come here, they feel like that there's something for everybody in all age groups in it, family, even like our fall festivals, the couples, you know, really love that. But I just think it's, uh, we have these wonderful hosts. I think they feel the love and the care that we all put into it. And people know me well enough to know the pride that I take in it. So I really feel like that it's just, it's just the way they're treated and the way that, uh, you know, the 
all the wonderful things that we say we have, we do have. And we present it in a wonderful way and people feel loved and they feel taken care of and they just seem to enjoy it. Yeah, Dolly's never met a stranger, if you can tell. <laughs> well, that's pretty we, much the truth. Know, we, we, we use that in our training for our host. And everyone that comes to Dollywood Parks and Resorts, I think feels like they're family and friends. And I think that's why we've won Friendliest Theme Park you know, in the country so many years in a row. And I think that's probably why the magic is still happening, where we got nominated as the number one uh, theme park in the yes, country by we Trip, so Tripper Rogers. So it's really yes. fun. We thank you for a lot of that, too. So that's actually wonderful. What is that old saying? And I've a friend is a, a stranger is a friend that you haven't met yet, you know, and it's really kind of like that with us too. And you're right, we never we never meet strangers. We're all friends around here. Well, I think I'm going to get off the stage and I'm going to let you do your thing. What is my thing? Are I you? guess he wants me to sing a song yeah, or something, right? <laughs> How about an outstanding for you, Gene? He's done a wonderful job for us. Actually, I'm going to pull out my microphone. Actually, I'm going to let the guys do that. I'm gonna, and uh, let me tell you this, I got this beautiful decorated guitar and this beautiful man bringing it to me. <laughs> That's Steve Summers, he's my creative director. He, he designs all my clothes and helps do a lot of the stuff, but they told us whatever you wear for the dedication of this or whatever we're, our presentation here today, that the outfit and your guitar has to go into the lodge somewhere in a casing. So any of you that come back to the lodge, you're gonna see this outfit in this guitar. Mm -hmm. This is a big guitar. <laughs> bigger is the lodge, bigger than me. I just don't wanna break my hair or anything. <laughs> anyway, are we ready? I think we're ready, here we go. A heart so melody plays like a symphony. The sweetest music I have ever known A song of joy and pain The mountain angels sing A bittersweet refrain Of my smoky mountain home Heart song Now this smoky mountain girl Has been all around the world it makes no difference just how far I'm grown I still cling to that part that is so dear to my heart My faith in God and memories of home A heart so melody plays like a symphony The sweetest music I have ever known A song of joy and Smoky Mountain Lodge Heart Song Yeah <laughs> Thank you, thank you Well I want you all to go and enjoy the park Get out there and get out of this sun in your face You're going to have a real freckle nose Some of you <laughs> sitting out there But thank you for coming We're looking so forward to having the, this all done And we will see you out on the park I'm going to be riding around on that DeWitt Later this afternoon So I'll see some of the fans out there and the press. I don't know where you'll be, but I'll see you somewhere. Anyway, thank you again. All right. There she goes in the dolly van. Construction has been moving along since last time we were out here. Projected to finish in fall of 2023. I'll show you some of the concept art here. So you can see a little look at the outside of Heart Song Lodge and Resort, as well as a little bit of the indoor area, which you can see the larger picture back here. Get a little look at the front entryway here of the resort. And a little mock-up of the room here. I love the painting up 
above the bed, the bears and the butterflies. Looks really nice. And there's the balcony. You can see they were talking about that every room is gonna have a balcony. Well, that wraps up our update. Look inside the Heartsong Resort and Lodge. Opening fall 2023. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comments. And otherwise, we'll see you guys on the next adventure. Mm -hmm.